The philosophers have only interpreted the world, in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. The oppressed are allowed once every few years to decide which particular representatives of the oppressing class are to represent and repress them. Surround yourself with people who make you happy. People who make you laugh, who help you when you are in need. People who genuinely care. They are the ones worth keeping in your life. Everyone else is just passing through. Hegel remarks somewhere that all great, world historical facts and personages occur, as it were, twice. He has forgotten to add, the first time as tragedy, the second as farce. It is not the consciousness of men that determines their being, but, on the contrary, their social being that determines their consciousness. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. There is no royal road to science and only those who do not dread the fatiguing climb of its steep paths have a chance of gaining its luminous summits. If money is the bond binding me to human life, binding society to me, connecting me with nature and man, is not money the bond of all bonds? Can it not dissolve and bind all ties? Is it not? Therefore, also the universal agent of separation? In proportion therefore, as the repulsiveness of the work increases, the wage decreases. We have no compassion and we ask no compassion from you. When our turn comes, we shall not make excuses for the terror. From suppression of the Noel Rheinisches Eidung. The tradition of all dead generations weighs like a nightmare on the brains of the living. Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be this solution. Religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world and the soul of soulless conditions. It is the opium of the people. Labor in the white skin can never free itself as long as labor in the black skin is branded. The increase in value of the world of things is directly proportional to the decrease in value of the human world. The ruling ideas of each age have ever been the ideas of its ruling class. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. Capital is dead labor, which, vampire-like, lives only by sucking living labor, and lives the more, the more labor it sucks. I am a machine condemned to devour books. Money is the alienated essence of man's labor and life and this alien essence dominates him as he worships it. 